All right guys, hey, coming at you with another quick video. Trying to give as many tips and pieces of advice as I can give to help the industry and the community as much as possible. Anyways, today's tip is about disabling a wing in high winds. A lot of people in a high wind situation or if they're trying to disable the wing, that natural tendency is to what? Grab the brakes and pull the brakes. Well, when you pull the brakes, it produces lift, which is going to lift on you and or drag you, making the situation more intense. The better way to disable the wing in that situation is to grab your D's, your D cascade, the D's on the risers, and pull them down. The D's disable without producing lift, dummy. Right? I got it. Duh. 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 Dummy, the D's disable without yes, producing lift. Yeah, D disable. So if you have to disable that wing epically fail wall in a turtle upside down in high wing because you got caught in a gust, you grab those D's, not the brakes. Brakes are gonna drag you. D's still produce a little bit of lift, but nowhere near the amount of lift as the brakes do. Grab your D's, disable the wing, kind of pull them to you. I mean, if you're in like a super nasty situation, just keep pulling those D's till you get fabric. As soon as you have any fabric in your hands, the wing is not gonna go anywhere. Even a pinching of the fabric and the wing is far less impactful, valuable, not valuable, uh, impactful and lift producing than without the wing. Grab fabric, fabric is everything. The other few ways that you can disable a wing in strong wing conditions, if you're still in control of the wing, right? Brakes, D's, that's if something's going wrong and or you're alone or you're really out of options. The other option is a wind shadow, right? So we've got trailers parked right here perpendicular to the wind producing a wind shadow. The camera is actually sitting in a wind shadow intentionally to not get wind noise, which it probably still is. Anyways, you actually drop the wing into the wind shadow. This little section right here of the trailer is a essentially a wind shadow where there's no wind. So I dump the wing into that wind shadow and then it won't fly away. I would do so by bringing a wing tip down. As soon as the wing tip's down on the ground, I would then pull my D's and disable it flat inside my wind shadow perpendicular to the wind. The other thing that you could do is you could bring a wing tip down to your buddy and have them grab the fabric and run it upwind or even pull the wing down. Any of those ways are good ways of disabling a wing. If you have a friend, if you have a wind shadow, those are great options. If you don't, grabbing the D risers are great options. Anyways guys, that's my quick tip for today. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Isn't that right, Mike? That's correct. Mike says it's good, then it's good. <laughs>